Put the net, 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 net. Magma cream. Mag, mag, magma block, 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 magma. And that leads to littles. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you wherever you may be. This is Little Daffodil, and I hope your day has been fantastic. Ah, thunder roars! Oh my god, it's actually raining. Uh, it's been raining all day in real life, and, and now the thunder is roaring in my Minecraft world, so ah, that startled me. It also startles me a little bit because you can see you're not seeing my faces. You're seeing these faces right now. I have four wither skulls. Four. One is nice to have on the wall. So what are the other three for? Nah-ha! Hmm, do you see the lightning? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and fight the wither. I am. And the fighting part is not my best part in this game. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not my best part in any game. I, I, I build okay. I'm creative. I'm like the person you want to have around who's going to keep the pantry stocked. That kind of thing. But... No, I'm going to take these skulls and I'm going to go get me the thing I need that I've forgotten the name of already to make a beacon. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to gather up the skulls. Gather them up. Well, okay, I'm going to gather up the skulls. Just hang in there and I'll, I'll meet you down in the tunnels. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. Okay, I think I've got this right. We're going to find out. Um, what I've done is I've gone down to my uh, my branch mine and I have extended it, one of the its. So basically, that's 37 blocks from there to there. So this will be the first place that I run and jump out, shoot the bow, and jump out and shoot the bow. And if it makes it this far, I keep going. And, and I just pray. Okay, this this is either going to go really well or really badly. So I have um, I have night vision, although I've got torches. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that. Swiftness, so I can run, run away really fast. You know, if my mind gets blown up, I'm okay with that. But if I get blown up, I'm not okay with that. A potion of strength. I have my infinity bow, in, which is in pretty good shape, I think. I have what I call my Wither Bane sword. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's got Smite, which my regular sword does not have, as well as Sweeping Edge, which my regular sword does have. Um, and my regular sword has Sharpness, Unbreaking. I, I may lose my Wither Bane sword to this. I don't know. Um, I've got the Soul Sand. I've got the Wither Skulls. I've got lots of food. I'm just going to go for it. And, um, <laughs> Let's hope, so against all hope, this works. So uh, I did my, my wiki research, and so once I place the three skulls, the creature is going to spawn, and then it's going to start making its way through, it's going to like grow, explode, and start making its way forward toward me. I'm kind of wondering if I should go ahead and throw a block up there as soon as I... I don't know, it didn't say to. So I'm going to stick stick with what it seemed to say, what I remember it saying. I'm going to go ahead and take a potion of swiftness and a potion of strength. And these are both eight-minute potions. So we'll put those up there. I'm not going to worry about the night vision. I don't need that. Uh, let's move this out of the way and put the fish there. And then let's place the heads and pray. So the idea is that I'm supposed to shoot at it and damage it. And now it's going to start coming after me. It's going to make its way through. Come on, watch that bar on the top. It's damaging pretty easily. I mean, it sounds pissed off though, I have to say. 
Okay, we're a quarter of the way down. Am I actually, can I get closer? Because it doesn't seem to be pushing forward like I thought it would. Oops, I think that missed completely. I feel like I need to be closer because I'm not positive I'm hitting as square as I can. But I also, I don't want to get hit with one of its, it's making a space in there rather than coming toward me. Come on. Come get me. Come down here. Don't just keep making a big hole under the ground. Okay, we are at the halfway point, I think. Oh my gosh, this is going extremely better than I had hoped. Although it's not coming after me the way I thought it was going to. All right, let's try. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. And now I've been withered. Okay, it's going wrong now. Okay, let's eat a little bit. All right. All right. I'm not sure if I'm still doing any... It seems like my arrows are all coming to ground too soon. Okay. 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 Been withered. And I'm not hungry yet. And when it withers me, it gets some of my health. So I've got to watch that. That's the effect of withering. It weakens you and it transfers that health to the, the creature that withered you. Come on. Oh. Uh, oh! 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 I did it! Oh my gosh! Okay, um, let's see what the damage is here. Oh my gosh. I did it! <laughs> I did! Oh, some lapis. While we're at it, I'll take that. Oh my god, look at the damage in here. Oh my gracious. <laughs> oh my gracious. Ah, uh, I'm going to have to block this off or I'm going to have mobs spawning in here and coming uh, coming down into the regular mine. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Yes. And look, 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 look. I got the nether star, which is what I need to make a beacon. Of course, I need more diamonds or emeralds or other precious metals to make the beacon, but I have this part. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh god. Okay. That was thrilling because I'm really not good at the whole battling part. I'm really just not. Okay, we're going to block that off for now because I have a feeling it's going to be a mob spawning room. Um, this is our regular entrance. We'll reopen this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull myself back together after that bit of excitement. Okay, this is our regular mine again. Uh, nothing but a bad. Okay, I'm gonna pull myself back together, and um, I I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna go up top and clean out my inventory and uh, figure out what's next because I did not expect that to go so so well. I could get multiple beacons if it's that easy. Well. If I have enough precious metals and stuff. Okay, anyway, I'll be right back. Well, I'm very glad to say that went surprisingly well. I'm very, very pleased indeed. Um, I'm going to be able to build a beacon. I do need to do a little prep work for that. I need to um, make sure I have the right number of all the component parts for the beacon itself uh, for or for the stand that goes with it. Um, so I will be taking care of that. In the meantime, I thought I'd take a minute, uh, since there's some time left in this video, to show you something I've been working on. So we are out here at the main gate, and I've been working on the road out. I know it may seem odd, um, I, I still have a lot in the village to do, but there are some things that are better done off camera, so I've started working on those kinds of things, uh, when I'm not able to film. So. I'm in a previous episode by now you should have seen me wandering the land and I found the Mesa 
and I have started collecting and bringing back large amounts of clay, of dark clay, because what I'm thinking for the roads, this road is going to connect to the Plains Village as well as to my starter first way stop over here. Um, and my concept here is that the road is going to travel, it's going to look really great this close to the village, and then you're going to get to a point and it's going to start turning into stone and gravel and things until it gets close to the other village. Um, and I believe in the video where um, I talk about, the, I go do the travels, I showed you the map and I think I showed you where it is, uh, where they are relative to each other. Um, so that is that is cool. I think that's going to work. I'm not loving this yet. It's a little too perfect. So I'm not entirely convinced. I'm also looking at ways to light it up uh, as well as to break it up. So I've got these torches here for close in. I'm not sure I love it. And I need to look at it at night because what I've also done is put some... Um, Glowstone underneath some slabs. I want to see if that lights it up. So this is something I've been working on. Uh, another thing that I've been working on that I think I touched on uh, in another video, but I'm not sure that I really talked it through with y'all, uh, is, of course, I, I dug out all of this hill, all the way back behind the enchanting room, the AFK fish farm, and, of course, the nether room where the portal is and I um, my thought is to cover it in bushes essentially hide some glowstone in there where I need to to light the place up but I just wish I just wish I could get more variation in the grass and in the leaves so I'll probably be playing with um, texture packs a little bit in that way uh, but this is generally the I idea at this point. I could even hide in, if I can get some more mossy cobble, that would be something I could hide in there. And now the last thing uh, I want to show you guys real quick um, is if we go into the nether, I have also worked in the nether a little bit. Um, you can see I've got some torches going up here to remind me I need to actually build a road in here too because it's all well and good um, to have that connection of a road in the overworld, but also I have connection of a road in the underworld now. I have connected the two villages, and so we're going to take a quick trip, and it's so, I mean, it shocked me how close the two portals end up being when it takes me so long to get from point A to point B in the overworld. So, we pass through here, and hopefully there's nothing to greet me. Um, I built it up. My idea is to, to go ahead and not leave any stairs there, so you have to have a block to get in there to prevent things from coming out. So this is the road that's going to lead into this village, and they're going to be sister villages. This is, this is what I've got in mind. So right now I have all but one villager locked up in their houses. I really haven't done a lot in this village, but I think it's going to be fun to build in both and to have the contrast. Um, of, of the two different styles of building. Of course, here are the horses that I left over here during the horse expedition, and I admitted in my last video I did spawn two horses at the other village. I spawned one here to try and start getting some variety, because these are the three that uh, I bred these two and got that guy, um, which is all well and good, but um, I, I wanted some randomness here too, so I did. I spawned him. Hello, beauty. Um, so there's still some decision making to go for this this village and how it's going to take shape and where everybody's going to be. The one thing I have started, however, ooh, I haven't I haven't uprooted. Okay, I haven't uh, harvested those yet. Is this house this house I have started? This is going to be my main base in this village, and I'm going for something a little different here. The idea here is that um, this would be the village, the house of the village wisdom, or witch, or wise woman, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm kind of working on some different textures, uh, different ways of looking at things. Um, I like the idea of the house being bigger than you would think by looking at the outside because it's going to go down into the ground. Um, this right here, all this cobble is just scaffolding um, at the moment. So 
you know, I'm playing with this a little bit. You'll see more about this, I think, in a future video, uh, although I will continue to concentrate on the Acacia Village because I think um, now that I've got the ability to build a beacon, I think it's time for a lot of rebuilding in there and really get my the inner circle of that village built and get it set up, get the, the, the animal pens put in place, all that kind of stuff. Get that done and get it, get it really solidified. Um, because it's been, been a while since I've done any work in the village itself, I think it's time. So today was a good and productive video day for me. I managed to do something that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to, even though, I mean, goodness gracious, guys, there are professionals out there. They make this look easy. They make the wither fight look easy. Just wave the sword around and boom, it's dead. I I'm not a professional. I'm a total noob. I'm doing this completely for fun, as we know. And so to me, it was like, oh my god, I'm gonna fight the wither. Oh my god, oh my god. And I did it. I did it. I did it all by myself. I just can't believe it. But thank you for being there to cheer me on. I appreciate it. Anyone who actually watches this video, he <laughs> let it just be known. A noob with no combat gaming skills whatsoever. No matter what game I play. It's just not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> and I killed the wither all by myself. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get over the startlement of that soon enough. Um, uh, maybe I'll hit myself in the head with some stone. It'll help. Okay. Anyway, I am going to head out. Let you guys go. All that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, please leave below. If if you liked it, please click the like button. Um, not necessarily for support. Just let me know you're out there. Okay, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe or just come by and visit occasionally because it's fun to do so. All right. Thank you again, everybody, and have a good one.